In honor, Madam Nur Asia binti Ali, Principal of Mahala Umama, Dr. Nur Saadia binti Muhammad Ali, lecturer from Department of Chemistry as our speaker for today, beloved fellows, brothers and sisters. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and most merciful. Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and blessings be on to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam for allowing us to attend the scientific report writing guidance talk organized by MRC of Mahala Ummah. I am Nur Sabratul Aisha, your MC for tonight's program. In seeking for the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let us start this wonderful gathering by the recitation of dua by Brother Muhammad Ikhwan bin Luqman. Please welcome. وقال ربكم ادعوني استجيب لكم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين يا رحمن يا رحيم we gather today to express gratitude upon your greatest gift towards us in conjunction with our program today we ask for your help and guidance Ya Allah, kindly give us strength and courage to face all struggles and gain a wide range of knowledge. Kindly bestow blessings, physical and spiritual health, fitness of mind, peace of mind, and also strength of spirit. Ya Aziz, Ya Qahar, Ya Allah, give strength to our teachers, lecturers, and ourselves to continue to serve for people, society, nation, and also our religion. Ya Allah, show us guidance to achieve happiness and glory. Bless our life and prevent us from harm and unfortunate events. Allahumma ja'al jam'ana hadha jam'an marhuma wa tafarruqana min ba'dihi tafarruqan ma'asuma. Allahumma iftah alayna hikmataka wa inshur alayna min khada'in rahmatika ya arhamar rahmin. Rabbi shurh lana sudurana wa yassir lana umurana wa ahlul uqdatan min al-sinatina wa yafqahu akwalana. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم تقبل منا دعاءنا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين Thank you Brother Ikhwan for the beautiful recitation Without further ado, I would like to invite Dr. Nur Saadia binti Muhammad Ali, lecturer from the Department of Chemistry, to deliver her talk. Please welcome. Okay, thank you very much okay, to our beloved uh, MC, okay, Sister Aisha. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I would like to extend uh, my gratitude okay, to the organizer, MRC of uh, Mahala Umama. Okay, and in collaboration, we Academic Coaching and Enhancement Unit, CFSIUM. Okay, and to the uh, Honorable Madam Principal, uh, Madam Nur Asia. Okay, and then we have the respected uh, coordinator of ACHU, uh, Ustad Rahim Ilyas. Okay, to uh, my fellow friends, okay, and to all brothers and sisters. So allow me to share my screen. Okay. So, can you see my screen, brothers and sisters? Yes, we can. How to hide this one? Okay. All right, so uh, dear brothers and sisters, uh, thank you very much okay, for uh, attending okay, tonight's uh, session okay, entitled Scientific Report Writing. So before we get started, uh, allow me to introduce myself. Okay, I am uh, Nor Saadia binti Muhammad Ali uh, and one of the lecturers okay, from chemistry department. Okay, and uh, allow me to uh, introduce okay, on the abbreviation okay, in front of my names okay, because um, 
some uh, sometimes the uh, students can tend to ask, okay, what does it mean okay, by the uh, abbreviation okay, in front of my names? So uh, TS uh, stands for Technologies, okay, which is awarded by uh, Malaysian Board of Technologies and Board okay, due to my specialization in material science technology. Okay, whereas uh, CHM okay, is chemist uh, due to my uh, experience okay, handling uh, chemistry uh, laboratory for more than 15 years and it is awarded by Institute Kimia Malaysia. Okay, and uh, DR okay, is... Uh, from my doctor of philosophy, okay, my PhD. And I would like to share okay, with you uh, about my academic backgrounds, okay, uh, in which my PhD uh, is focusing in advanced materials, okay, and I was graduated okay, from University of Malaysia Pahang. And then uh, my master degree is in analytical chemistry. Okay, and instrumental analysis from University Malaya. Whereas my first degree okay, is in Bachelor of Science okay, uh, with honors in Petroleum Chemistry from University Putra Malaysia UPM. And I will say uh, I have involved with four different institutions, okay, including current employer, uh, which is uh, our IIUM, okay, International Islamic University Malaya, in eh, Malaysia. Okay, sorry. Okay, and uh, I would like to share with you uh, throughout my PhD journey, I have involved actively in writing uh, academic uh, report in which uh, I have uh, published or I managed to author 18 research uh, articles okay, or journal articles specialization in advanced materials. So if you're interested to know more about my uh, research uh, project, so you can Google okay, my name, uh, Nor Saadia, or my researcher name, okay, M.A. Saadia. Uh, so you can uh, have a look okay, on the list uh, that I have been working uh, on my research work. Okay. So that is uh, a little bit of my uh, academic background okay, in which I would say okay, to come out with uh, these uh, numbers okay, of research articles, I have attended a series of uh, workshops okay, and training okay, in order to equip myself okay, with the knowledge okay, in order to come out with uh, a proper uh, academic uh, writing report or research article report. So, uh, inshallah, okay, based on my uh, knowledge okay, and uh, experience okay, in writing and in publishing the research article paper, okay, uh, I can share with you some uh, tips and tricks okay, in order for you uh, to complete your assignment, okay, your lab report, or maybe uh, you want to come up with an uh, article later, inshallah. Uh, but before uh, we get started, okay, before uh, I share my uh, knowledge okay, on the uh, writing scientific report, I would love to hear okay, from the attendees for tonight's session. So can you please scan the QR code and uh, kindly share your thoughts okay, on what are your expectations from this session? So guys, dear brothers and sisters, kindly scan the QR code. Okay, and please uh, change uh, the name from anonymous key to your nickname. And please share okay, your thoughts. What are your expectations? What do you want to learn from this session? So we have more than 20 participants for tonight's session. So I do hope I can receive more than 20 responses. Okay. So you can see uh, you are typing and I'm still receiving the responses from you guys. Okay, 
So the first anonymous, guys, please change your uh, the, the anonymous to your nickname. So that not all responses okay, are recorded with anonymous. Okay, I can enhance my report writing skills. Okay, I will learn how to score in writing reports so that I don't make careless mistakes. Mm -hmm. Learn how to write report properly. Another anonymous. Can we have a real respondent? Okay, let's wait for another two more responses. Okay, right we in writing report, especially for degree level. Mm -hmm. Not only for foundation, but throughout my study journey. Okay, so Alhamdulillah, thank you very much. Okay, dear brothers and sisters, okay, for your responses. So inshallah, okay, uh, based on my uh, knowledge okay, and my experience okay, in this uh, writing uh Feel. So I would love to share with you okay, on uh, how okay, to write a scientific report writing properly, inshallah. Okay, so let's move okay, to our main agenda for tonight's session that is on scientific report writing. So I will uh, shorten the topic to scientific writing. Okay, so dear brothers and sisters, okay, I'm going to divide uh, this sharing session on how to write a scientific paper or scientific report okay, into uh, four uh, items okay, in which the first one we are going to cover on the content framework, okay, in which we are going to discuss on what are the main content okay, of a scientific paper or scientific uh, report should have. Okay, and then uh, I'm going uh, to introduce to you on how to find reliable sources from online and offline database because reliable sources is very important when you want to write a scientific paper, especially okay, on the discussion part and also the introduction part. Okay, and uh, point number four is on paper skimming, uh, in which once you have retrieved the sources, then you have to know how to read and evaluate the resources quickly in order to grasp all the overall structure okay, of the paper uh, so that you can uh, serve the paper as the main reference. Okay, and last but not least, inshallah, if we have time, okay, I will share with you on the citation manager. So after you have uh, collected a series of uh, reliable sources, okay, and when you do paper skimming, then you find out that you have uh, a number of papers okay, for you to refer uh, in order to construct your scientific report, then you have to know okay, how to manage all the citation. Okay, therefore, I'm going to share with you on how to use Citation Manager, in which I will uh, introduce to you on one tool okay, in order for you to manage the citation and also the bibliography. Okay, so let us start with the first discussion. Okay, that is the main content okay, of a scientific paper or scientific report. And guys, this is the general structure okay, of a research uh, article or a scientific paper or scientific report okay, should possess. So I would say uh, this uh, general structure is applicable for all fields, okay, regardless whether you are doing sciences or social sciences, or even your lab report uh, for your specific subject, uh, chemistry, biology, or physics should adopt okay, the general structure as follows. So let's have a look okay, on the first part. Okay, we have title, okay, abstract, and keywords. Uh, so for abstract, generally for a research article or scientific paper, uh, not for uh, your lab report. Okay, and then the next one okay, is on the main, that is the text or body okay, that contains the following items okay, that can be uh, abbreviated into IOMRED. Uh, in which they are introduction, objective, methods, results, analysis, and also discussion. Uh, so these are the basic or these are the main components uh, should be possessed okay, by a research article, scientific paper, or even your lab report. Okay, and last but not least uh, is the conclusions, okay, acknowledgement, references, and also the supplementary data, if any. 
when we're focusing on the title, abstract and keywords, it is very important uh, for you to come out with uh, a catchy title okay, and concise title. It is because we want to provide okay, a title that is easier for indexing and searching, uh, especially okay, if you want to write a research article. Uh, and at the end of the process, you are going to uh, deposit the research article okay, into a database. Okay, therefore, okay, it is easier okay, for you to come out with a concise title okay, in order to ease it, in order to ease uh, the indexing and searching uh, strategy. So the title, abstract and keywords should be very informative attractive and effective uh, and in line with the topic that you want to discuss. Whereas uh, the main K or text, K or body uh, should contain the introduction. Uh, what does it mean by introduction? It is what did you do or others do. Uh, so this one requires you to work with uh, scientific statements related to the topics that you want to uh, discuss. And usually, you are going to compare with previous studies. And this is where you have to refer to the resources. Uh, so you have to build your uh, literature review, uh, what uh, others okay, have studied uh, about your topic. Okay. And then the objective, okay, why did you do it? Uh, you have to know okay, what are the objectives okay, for your topic, uh, for your work, or for your assignment. Uh, for example, okay, if uh, I can relate okay, to one of the uh, experiments okay, that chemistry students uh, have been working uh, last week, uh, in which they have done their experiment number two, okay, in which uh, one of the uh, objective is to determine the concentration of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Uh, and usually the objective okay, should use the term two, two one, okay, to determine, okay, to study, to analyze, okay, or etc. So you have to know, you have to be clear, okay, with the objective that you want to do, okay, for your assignments or for your project. Okay, and then uh, we have methods, okay, how did you do it? So you have to explain uh, very briefly, okay, on what methods you have, either qualitative or quantitative. And then results is about what did you find? And the analysis, uh, it actually comes together, okay, results and analysis okay, should come together. So results, what did you find? And analysis, how do you present them? So the analysis is very important to support the findings or the results because sometimes uh, the reader is very visualized person. So you have to know okay, how to present the data analysis okay, so that uh, the readers can understand your results. It can be in a table form. It can be in diagram. Okay, or it can be in uh, graph okay, or chart. Okay, and then we have the discussion. Okay, another important part okay, for a scientific paper or scientific report would have, which you have to explain what does it all means. Uh, you have to discuss okay, the entire results and analysis that you have obtained. Okay, and you have to support the data that you get okay, based on previous research that has been conducted. Uh, so I would say uh, you need another uh, reliable uh, sources at here okay, in order to support your findings. Okay, and last but not least uh, is the conclusion, okay, acknowledgement and references. The conclusion part okay, should reflect the objective of your study. So the conclusion part here should answer the objective that you have set up earlier. Uh, like the example given to you earlier, okay, uh, we have uh, to determine concentration of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Okay, therefore, the conclusion should be uh, the concentration of concentrated hydrochloric acid is 0 0.020 molar, for example. And the conclusion should be short and precise. Uh, it cannot be lengthy or else it will be considered as part of the discussion. So guys, this is the main content okay, that you have to alert with in order to come up with a content development. So I would say before you start uh, writing your scientific report or scientific paper, okay, you should have them okay, as the header uh, in your document uh, before you start elaborate further, before you start to add on with the contents. Okay, so now we move to second uh, discussion that is on the reliable resources. 
So first of all, okay, you have to know to find reliable sources uh, in which we have uh, quite a number of database that you can refer okay, in order to find uh, precise and accurate information uh, rather than uh, you use website uh, because usually website, uh, the information is provided okay, is uh, quite vague okay, or ambiguous. So inshallah in this session, okay, I'm going to share with you on what kind okay, of platform you can uh, refer in order to get the information that you can use okay, as part of your writing. Okay, and then after you have obtained okay, the reliable sources that you have to read and evaluate. So this will be discussed in the uh, skimming uh, paper okay, in the next discussion. Okay, and then I'm going to share with you on how to write based on the resources that you have retrieved okay, from the database. And uh, we are going to have the uh, citation. After you have write, then you have to cite uh, the sources that you have referred. Okay. And uh, this is the list okay, of a reliable database. Uh, so I have referred uh, this database okay, from uh, sources okay, in which we have nine popular okay, database okay, such as PubMed. Uh, this one is uh, important or useful for those who take biotechnology. Okay, and then we have the uh, IEEE for electrical and electronics. Okay, and then we have JSTOR. Uh, this one is uh, general storage. Okay, I rarely use this JSTOR, okay, but uh, it is included okay, or it is listed okay, as a uh, top nine okay, of reliable database. And we have Science Direct, Elsevier. So anyone from here okay, uh, have the experience to access the Science Direct? Brothers and sisters? Anyone has the experience to access the Science Direct before? No, we do. Tak pernah, tak pernah access Science Direct. So Science Direct is a platform. Alsevia is the company, eh? the company's name that own the Science Direct. Okay. Dia, dia guna nama pendek tak? Sci something? Science Direct, full. Yang Sci, oh. the line but. Uh -uh. Oh, line lah. Uh. Okay, and then kat sini ramai yang uh, confused Science Direct dengan Elsevier. Uh, ingatkan dia adalah uh, Elsevier tu is database. So Elsevier is the company eh, sebenarnya. Uh, Science Direct is the database. Okay, and then uh, we have Google, Google Scholar from Google Resources. I believe this one must be familiar. You guys must be familiar. Yes. Uh, kan? So selalu guna Google Scholar ni kan? So insyaAllah kita akan share lah okay, on how okay, to use Google Scholar properly uh, to help or to assist you uh, in completing your scientific report. Okay, and we have Springer Link, Wiley, Nature.com and last but not least is the ACS publication key okay, for uh, chemistry people lah. Uh, so uh, in this session, okay, I would love to share with you Okay, more on the Google Scholar. Uh, how do we uh, retrieve reliable sources from Google Scholar? Okay, so uh, can we have hands-on session? Guys, can you please uh, stand by with your browser? Okay, so now we want to try okay, to browse via Google Scholar. So can you please browse for Google Scholar or Scholar, then you will come across with this user interface. Okay, and then uh, you can try to type any of the topic that you are interested to know. And if let's say you want to narrow down your searching, then you can use uh, N. Uh, for example, okay, for example, okay, if uh, I want to search okay, for gamification and education. So I'm going, I want to search for four, for two items, okay, gamification and education. So you can uh, use the N in between the two uh, searching terms too. All right? Or you can choose any okay, of the keywords that you want to use okay, for your searching. And then, uh, you will be provided by a list okay, of article here. 
that are related to the gamification and education. Uh, if let's say you want to be more specific, uh, you can add another one more keyword, but you have to add N uh, after the education. So actually, uh, the uh, searching strategy uh, ada beberapa cara. Uh, it's just that uh, I share the simplest one lah. Okay, by using N at here. Okay, and then, okay, if you want uh, to limit your searching uh, or your articles here, because if you can have a look at here, we have 23,100 results. Oh, banyak ni. Okay, therefore, okay, we can filter okay, the articles. Usually, if you want to uh, have, uh, if you want to produce scientific report, okay, we have to limit okay, our uh, searching criteria based on time. Usually, we use uh, recent references okay, in which uh, the year should be limited okay, to five years. Uh, so, we only use latest or recent references okay, based on or within five years, uh, within the past five years. So, you can uh, custom range at here okay, and then you can set okay, the time. Uh, so, past five years means... Uh, we can refer to the sources from 2019 okay, until 2014. Uh, that is uh, this year. Lah. Okay. And then uh, you can also limit the article to review articles or maybe books. Okay, If let's say you want to be very specific. Uh, and then after you have uh, set okay, the filter, then the numbers or the results uh, displayed will be uh, much lesser. Uh, and then you can read one by one, okay, which one that uh, match the best with your title or your search criteria. Okay. And uh, this is the uh, database okay, uh, provided by Dar Al Hikmah. So this is another strategy. Okay, other than a uh, Google Scholar just now, okay, you can also retrieve uh, the reliable resources okay, from our database, our library, Dar al Hikmah, okay, in which uh, can you uh, can we have organizer to share the link to access uh, Dar al Hikmah, okay, in the chat. It's already in the chat, madam. Okay, already. All right, so uh, you can click. The off-campus access, okay, once you have uh, come okay, to the uh, page of Dar al Hikmah here, then you can click off-campus access. So when you click okay, the on-campus access, then you will be directed to the login page. And I've been informed that this... Uh, discussion or uh, we have another sharing session regarding uh, offline database by library. Okay, that one also organized by uh, MRC, Umama. Okay, that one will be on 19, uh, this coming 19 uh, January on Friday, in which the sharing session will be on the ways to find reliable sources in library. Uh, so maybe uh, during that session, you can explore for more uh, technique on how to retrieve reliable sources. Okay, but just to share with you, okay, on the alternative uh, platform that you can have, other than Google Scholar just now, we have this one, okay, off-campus access. So you can log in the off-campus access. So I'm not sure Okay, if uh, I'm not sure for students uh, access, okay, but uh, from my point of view or from my access, okay, I'm going to log in using my IUM ID and maybe yours is uh, by using your metric number, your user number and metric number. So can anyone respond on this? Anyone uh, try to access the off-campus from the Dar al Hikmah? So what 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 is the page that you have for the login page, and what uh data that you use to access the page or to log in the page? So.
So guys, uh, for this session, it is not only for me to share okay, the theoretical part, okay, but I would like to ask or to request you guys okay, to hands on, okay, to try together with me. Okay, so that you have the experience okay, on how to access, okay, on how uh, to use, so that the session can be more engaging. So anyone have tried to access the off-campus? I have made them. Okay, so what, what data you use for the login? Uh, metric number. Your metric number and password uh, is uh, for you to set, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so now let's log in. So this is the page. Okay, so this is the next page that we have after we manage to log in. Okay, we have the online database. So these are the list okay, of databases subscribed by IIUM. So we can scroll here. We have the IEE Explore which is for the electro electrical and electronic people. And then we have the Islamic finance. And then we have LawNet, okay, for those students who take law program. Okay, and then we have Science Direct here. Okay, we have Scopus, Pringling, and etc. All right, so you can choose uh, any of the data database that you want to use in order to retrieve the resources. For example, if you want to refer to Science Direct, then you can click Science Direct. Then uh, the science direct page will be directed to you, and then you can start to search. Okay, what are the topics that you want to explore or you want to search? Uh, for example, just now, okay, we want to uh, study on uh, gamification and education. The same because for your information, uh, other than material science technology. Okay, uh, that is my specialization. Uh, currently, I am uh, working okay, on another study that is on educational technology. Uh, so that's why my uh, searching criteria is more uh, related okay, to this uh, keyword. Okay, so let's say gamification and education. Uh, so here, okay, we have all papers, okay, or all articles okay, that is related to the keywords that I have key in, gamification and, sorry, this one is supposed to be education, typo, okay, education. Okay, this one. Okay, and this is the uh, refine option. Uh, let's say if you want to narrow down your uh, searching criteria according to year, let's say we want to have uh, within uh, five years uh, references only, then you can click. Uh, 2019 until 2014. Okay. And then uh, type of article. Uh, let's say if you want to study or if you want to use a review article only. Okay. And then uh, book chapters. Uh, and then we want to exclude the research articles. Okay. And also the encyclopedia. Okay. Publication title. Okay, you can remain as it is, subject areas, okay, and languages. So sometimes the article is not written in English. For example, here we have French. Okay, therefore you can exclude the French, okay, and choose only English. Uh, so now, okay, sorry, this one, is set all good keys. So you can uh, refine, okay, your search just now, eh? Okay, and then okay, after you have refined your searching, then the results obtained here will become lesser. So it is easier for you to uh, choose okay, which resources that you want to refer uh, in order to come up with your scientific report. Okay, so that is the database uh, from the Dar al Hikmah. So hopefully okay, you know how to use okay, the database okay, other than Google Scholar. Okay, so now, some of the article, even though it is in the database okay, of RIUM, but sometimes the paper or the full paper is not there. Uh, it is because the university does not subscribe all papers, uh, only selected paper 
okay, will be deposited or are deposited in the online database. Uh, so, in order to unlock okay, the unsubscribed article, okay, if let's say you are interested okay, to know more about uh, one paper, but happens to be the uh, university uh, does not subscribe, then we do have an alternative platform okay, to unlock okay, the article that is by using Sci-Hub. Uh, so this is the platform that you can uh, work with, okay, Sci-Hub, okay, in which uh, you have to know okay, what is the address, okay, the URL address, DOI, we call it as DOI address uh, for the paper that you want to unlock, copy the address, okay, and then paste to the Sci-Hub page at here. Uh, then you will be directed okay, to the full paper uh, if you want to uh, use okay, the content okay, of the full paper. All right. Okay. So after you have retrieving the, the article, okay, let's say uh, we have Google Scholar. Okay, let's back to the Google Scholar because I believe that Google Scholar is the most uh, convenient platform okay, for us to work with uh, because uh, there's no need for us to uh, sign in okay, or log in okay, like the off-campus database by the Dar al Hikmah Library. Okay, let's say okay, we go to Google Scholar okay, and then uh, we want to uh, find okay, keyword okay, of filtration and biosorbing. Okay, and then uh, again, uh, the Google Scholar will do the searching okay, and then there will be a list of articles okay, presented okay, by the Google Scholar. Okay, and then let's say okay, I want to refer to this one paper entitled Advancement in the Use of Filtration Materials for the Removal of Heavy Metal from Multi-Contaminated Solutions. Uh, if I can bring you guys, okay, if I can bring you guys to the paper from the Google Scholar. So this is uh, the paper. And take note, uh, there is a disclaimer up here. International Islamic University of Malaysia does not subscribe to this content on Science Direct. So even though this topic is listed okay, in the Science Direct, okay, uh, in the off-campus database, but our university does not subscribe. Okay, but we want to know what is the content uh, because when we uh, do the skimming uh, of paper, okay, when we uh, write, uh, sorry, when we read okay, and evaluate the paper, okay, and we find out that the paper okay, is not full version. It is because the university does not subscribe. Okay, but we want to know more about this paper. Uh, so this is where okay, you can use the alternative. Okay, uh, that is the Sci-Hub okay, in order for you to unlock okay, or retrieve the paper. Okay, you can copy the link okay, and then you can go to the Sci-Hub and then you can uh, paste okay, and try to open. Then you will get okay, the full article. Uh, and then you can save or deposit uh, this uh, article in your desktop uh, so that you can do thorough reading okay, or you can review okay, the paper and you can make use of okay, the contents okay, for your write-up. Okay, uh, so this is how the paper looks like okay, like we have uh, just now from the page of Sci-Hub. So now okay, we are going to move to paper skimming. Uh, so this is the third uh, technique, okay, uh, which is part okay, of the technique on writing the uh, scientific report. Okay, because just now uh, I have shared with you okay, on what are the main contents okay, or the uh, framework okay, that you should have, that you should present okay, in your uh, document. Okay, and then uh, second, uh, on the reliable resources that we have from the Google Scholar okay, and also the uh, Dar al Hikmah database, the okay, off campus database. Okay, and now okay, uh, I'm going to share with you on paper skimming on how to read and evaluate uh, the resources that we have retrieved uh, from the database just now. So when we want to read the article, uh, which is very lengthy, okay, panjang, and macam macam discussion ada. Then, of course, we will come across with the following questions. Do I need to read every journal article to make sure I cover everything? Or do I need to read every section of each article to understand it? So are we going to read the entire paper? 
So I would say, no. Okay, please do not read the entire paper because you want to screen the paper first. Okay, before you want to investigate further. Okay, what uh other researchers okay, are writing or presenting okay, in their paper or in their article. Okay, so that's why you should know which sections that you should focus on. So based on my experience, okay, I will say uh, these three sections for you to focus on when you have retrieved the paper. So after you have retrieved the paper from the database, go to the paper okay, and then find the abstract okay, and then the introduction and conclusion. So for the abstract, okay, usually it provides a high level overview of what article is about. Okay, and good abstract should contain the five items as follows, which are the introduction that is very brief, maybe one to two statements, enough. Okay, and then the objectives, method, results and conclusion, uh, which is in brief as well. Uh, so good abstract should contain these five. So when you do the reading, okay, uh, make sure to find out okay, what uh, where okay, are the five key okay, elements from the abstract. And if let's say you are the one that uh, going to write your abstract, so always keep in mind okay, to provide these five components. Okay, in order to produce a good abstract in your scientific writing. Okay, and then okay, after you have screened the abstract and you find out that, oh, the objective uh, and the method okay, matches okay, your searching criteria. Uh, and then you might need to uh, move further to the next part or to the next section. That is the introduction. And for the introduction, okay, usually the first three paragraphs okay, are the literature review. Okay, in which uh, the author uh, present uh, previous study okay, in order to compare with uh, his or her study. Okay, so that's why from the introduction part, okay, you can scroll okay, the first few paragraphs and go to the last paragraph. Because the last paragraph should contain the following. Uh, objective, method and result. Uh, in which the author okay, will re-emphasize okay, what are the objectives okay, of their study and what are the methods and results once again uh, in the introduction part and if confirmed oh, so confirm okay the objective and method okay matches okay matches with our uh, searching criteria uh, and then we can go to the conclusion uh, or we can start to look at the specific section that we want to uh, know more further uh, for example, at the methods, uh, what are the methods that the uh, author present? Is it a qualitative or quantitative? Okay, and then we can go to the results in order to see okay, how the author present their results uh, in the form of uh, tables, in the form of pep, in, in the form of diagram, okay, or uh, chart. Okay, and then if let's say uh, we have no time okay, to study or to, to, to scheme uh, on the abstract introduction, then uh, this one is the rep the most rapid uh, technique okay, in paper scheming. That is, you can go directly to the conclusion part. Uh, so you can skip the abstract, you can skip the introduction, you can move directly to the conclusion part. Uh, and the conclusion part okay, should provide you the answers that the results Okay, or the findings of the research work. Okay. And uh, this is the shortcut okay, to grab the gist okay, of the article without reading all the dull and dry detail. Uh, so if they say, okay, when you read the conclusion and then you find out that uh, this study or this article okay, is suitable okay, for you to refer further, uh, then okay, you can uh, save the article uh, so that you can uh, review uh, the paper later uh, in order to extract out the important uh, contents. Uh, so this is uh, what I did okay, in the paper scheming uh, in order to screen uh, which paper is suitable. Because if we if we retrieve, uh, if we refer uh, to the uh, database that we have earlier, uh, we have a uh, more than thousand paper uh, for us to screen, for us to read. So that's why we have uh, to know okay, how to uh, read and evaluate uh, which article is the best and uh, best matches okay, the topic that we want to uh, discuss further uh, in our assignments okay, or in the uh, report.
Okay. So now uh, let's try uh, together. Okay. So let's try together uh, to identify okay, the components that must be presented okay, in an abstract. Let's say uh, we have one sample here, one sample of abstract, okay, entitled Using the e-learning gamification tool Kahoot to learn chemistry principles in the classroom. Uh, and this uh, abstract is retrieved from uh, Google Scholar. Okay, and okay, here, okay, other contents. So can you please read the abstract? Okay, and try to identify whether the abstract contains okay, all the five components okay, or not. So if we can have a quick uh, recall once again, the abstract or good abstract should contain introduction, objective, method, results, and conclusion. So based on the first sample here, if we can read, the abstract begins with, this study investigated the effectiveness of using the Kahoot game in developing the cognitive achievement and direction of students of pharmacy at Alasmaria Islamic University, Libya. So I would say the abstract is very straightforward. There is no introduction. Terus, objective. So this study investigated the effectiveness. So I would say the first statements here okay, is on the objective okay, of the work. Okay, and then next statement, okay, the study design uh, is based on action research. So how about this one? So what is the component that reflect the second statement here? The study design is based on action research. So action research here is actually method. Eh? Uh, so it is one of the qualitative method okay, in research uh, that we have. Uh, so I would say this statement correspond to method. Okay, and then Kahoot was implemented once at the end of each of three units. The study sample consisted of 30 female students from the first year of university at the Pharmacy Science College in Libya. Okay, the students were selected randomly and studied using Kahoot technology for the quantitative part of the study. Data were collected through a 20-item questionnaire on 20 participants and 15 participants to gather information on students' perceptions about this application by the interview. Uh, so, brothers and sisters, all the elaboration here okay, are actually corresponding to the method. Uh, so, very precise uh, discussion on method presented in this abstract uh, for this uh, study. Okay, and then, uh, next, results indicate. Uh, so, very obviously, so now, uh, the abstract, uh, so uh, starting from these uh, words, results indicate. Okay, this is, uh, of course, and obviously goes to results. Okay, until we have students at here. Uh, so this uh, one statement corresponds to results. Okay, and last but not least, we have the conclusion part. Uh, the results hold implications for development of more efficient, effective in educational process. Uh, so, okay, after okay, we have identified okay, all the five components just now, then we can see that uh, this abstract miss Okay, one of the component that is the introduction. Uh, so I would say it is still acceptable okay, with four out of five components okay, to be presented uh, for abstract. Okay, lah ni. Kan? Maksudnya cukuplah uh, data yang kita nak ataupun uh, components yang kita nak tahu okay, about this uh, title. Okay. And then we have the second one. Okay, we have the second sample okay, for us to uh, know okay, what are the uh, points okay, highlighted Okay, by the second study. And the second study here entitled okay, Educational Games okay, in Science Center. Okay, experiences of pre-service science teachers. Uh, so can you have a look at the abstract? Okay, and then can you try okay, to guess okay, which part can reflect the five components okay, of the abstract? Because Reading abstract is another uh, strategy for you okay, to uh, work with your uh, scientific writing. Because sometimes okay, you can use okay, the uh, sentences okay, or statements provided by the author okay, from the abstract. Okay, just that you have to uh, rephrase okay, of 
paraphrase okay, their statements uh, so that uh, it is suitable okay, with your topics or your discussion. Uh, so if we can have a look at here, the abstract at here, okay, after we have read okay, the contents entirely, then we can come out okay, with this. Okay, we can come out with this division. So as you can see here, we have five different colors okay, highlighted, indicating the five components. Uh, so all the five components are there. We have the introduction. Okay, sorry, we have the introduction part. Okay, and then we have the objective. Uh, it was aimed to determine the opinions. Uh, so this one is the objective. Okay, and then uh, all these yeah, uh, is referring to the methods. Okay, and then the green highlighted here. Okay, uh, the point highlighted in green here. Okay, is referring to the uh, results. Okay, and this is the conclusion. So these are the five components. Okay, uh, that uh, if let's say okay, we are the author. Okay, if let's say we are the author, so keep in mind okay, to come up with these okay, five uh, components uh, to be presented in your abstract. Okay, and uh, I would like to share with you. Okay, I would like to share with you uh, one of the uh, work uh, did by a previous students or previous cohort. Uh, so this is the abstract okay, that uh, the group of students okay, has prepared okay, in which, uh, for your information, they have participated in uh, our previous conference uh, that is a CFSE okay, in 2022, in which their project uh, entitled okay, a study on the effectiveness okay, of compost okay, derived from food waste at CFSIUM treated with black soldier fly lava, okay, Hermesia illusions, okay, on the growth of mulberry plant. Okay, and for your information, this is uh, my very first project okay, in which uh, the authors are up to 11. Uh, so we have 11 individuals okay, collaborating okay, to come out or to work okay, on this project. Okay, but uh, uh, I would like to uh, uh, what is it? Okay, uh, this group of students okay, because okay, they manage okay, to write so-called scientific research paper okay, with uh, guidance okay, by the advisors. And this is the abstract okay, that they have uh, prepared. Okay, and if you can have a look okay, at here, uh, all the five components okay, are presented. So that uh, I would say this is the summarization. So abstract is also uh, equivalent to the summarization. So when we read the abstract, uh, by right, we should get uh, a brief picture or brief imagination on what uh, kind of studies okay, that uh, the authors okay, are presenting. Okay. So this is the abstract. We're still discussing on paper skimming, okay, in which how to read uh, or how to extract out the information okay, from the abstract. Okay, and then we have uh, the introduction. Because I did mention just now, we can also confirm okay, our uh, searching criteria okay, based on introduction. Uh, so let's say uh, we focus on another study, okay, another study entitled okay, Transitioning to Online Learning During COVID-19 Pandemic Case Study of a Pre-University Centre in Malaysia. Okay, and this is the abstract. Uh, so you can read the abstract and, and you can try to come out okay, to identify with the five uh, components. Okay, and then uh, we go to the introduction. Okay, and as I told just now, uh, we can uh, skip the first few paragraphs and we can go directly to the introduction part, uh, to the last part okay, of the introduction, uh, last paragraph. Okay, and this is the last paragraph okay, of this uh, article. When we read the last paragraph, okay, then uh, we can see the objective is highlighted. Uh, we do have the objective okay, highlighted here. Okay, and then we have the results okay, highlighted in yellow okay, and uh, the method. 
right? So usually the last paragraph should explain okay, on these three uh, components in which the authors will uh, re-highlight okay, on the three components here uh, after they have highlighted in the abstract. Okay, uh, so that is uh, the uh, paper skimming on how to read okay, the paper very quickly. Okay, so now okay, we have come okay, to the fourth discussion that is on how to manage the citation. So how do you manage your citation? So if you are working on your lab report, okay, lab report for chemistry, okay, lab report for biology or physics, then uh, usually the lecturers will instruct you to use not more than uh, five references. So if let's say you have five references, then it is easier for you okay, to manage manually uh, in terms of the arrangement uh, based on alphabetical order. So it is easier for you to monitor. Okay, but what if okay, you have 100 of citations? Uh, if you have, kalau bukan 100 pun, if let's say you have 30, 30 citations, so are you going to work with the references manually? So my suggestion is please not. Uh, please do not. All right? Uh, so please use tools. Okay, we have many tools okay, to manage the bibliographic data, information, and also the references as presented here. So you, you can choose which one uh, is suitable okay, or which one okay, is subscribed okay, by your university. Uh, so as you can see here, we have uh, RefWorks, uh, yang famous eh? RefWorks, okay, and then we have the Zotero. Okay, and then during my PhD, I used to use the EndNote. Uh, EndNote is quite uh, easier. Okay, uh, because uh, during that time, the UMP, uh, in which currently it is known as UMPSA, okay, has subscribed the EndNote. Okay, but after I have finished my PhD, uh, the EndNote crashed, okay, and then I have to find uh, another uh, tools or manager uh, or a citation manager. Uh, so that's why uh, I come across with the Mendeley uh, because uh, Mendeley uh, is subscribed. Okay, by uh, our, sorry, Mendeley requires no subscription. It is open access. Uh, so Mendeley is open access. So that's why, if I'm not mistaken, okay, almost all institutions okay, has migrated to the Mendeley. Uh, so they are, not, they are no longer uh, using the EndNote. Uh, so Mendeley is the uh, open access. Okay, so that's why it is easier uh, for the authors okay, to use Mendeley as the uh, citation manager. Okay, so guys, uh, I would like to share with you okay, on how to use Mendeley. Okay, but okay, it requires uh, effort. Okay, so please, uh, dear brothers and sisters, okay, I would like to ask you okay, to have another hands-on. Uh, so can you please uh, browse okay, the Mendeley desktop downloader in which the link has been shared with you. Okay, so let's try okay, to download the Mendeley desktop okay, because it can ease you guys when you want to do your assignments. Okay, uh, like report tu tak apalah setakat lima references boleh guna manually je kan. Uh, but if let's say if you want to complete the assignments, okay, of course you want to provide uh, more than 10 or more than 20 references okay, so that you can provide uh, more reliable content for your assignment, isn't it? So I would like to ask you guys, okay, can you please uh, download the Mendeley, uh, so browse, sorry, browse okay, for the Mendeley desktop download, okay, in which uh, in this uh, point number four discussion, okay, I would love to share with you okay, on the Mendeley desktop and how you are going to install the Microsoft Word plugin. Uh, how do you uh, install the Mendeley Desktop Citation uh, Manager in your words, uh, Microsoft Words? Okay. So, are you with me, guys? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Okay. So, have you browsed okay, the Mendeley Desktop? Download. Fine. So after you have uh, clicked the link that I have shared or that the organizer have shared in the chat box, okay, this one, then you'll be directed to this page. 
Okay, manager for desktop. Okay, and then just follow the instruction. The instruction will ask you to uh, proceed with the desk, uh, with the setup. Okay, your task is to, is, uh, to click next and next. Okay. Uh, okay, and then you will come across to this page, Mendeley Registration. Okay, Mendeley Registration. Okay, and then you can use your IUM email. Okay, and create a password. And please stay sign in. Okay, in case uh, you forgot your password, then you still can access the Mendeley desktop. Okay, and then uh, key in, key all the information required at here. Okay, email, given name, family name, and password. And then, okay, and then install. So can anyone respond? You guys are at which stage? Have you? Have you? Have you got this speech, the Mendeley registration page? I do hope that the internet is uh, good tonight. I hope the internet can give cooperation so that you are able to download the Mendeley. So anyone managed to download? Um, yes, Doctor, did yes, you I notice did. a question in the chat box? Is it okay, okay if one of the component? Good job. Is it okay if one of the component are too long? Component, which component? This is 9.07 p.m. So it must be something that you have said before. The paper skimming, madam. Oh, paper skimming. Is it okay if one of the component are too long? Uh, which component are too long? Pepper skimming? Pepper skimming? Uh, pepper skimming. Okay, we're waiting. Okay, thank you very much okay, for notifying me on the question. So while waiting uh, for you guys to do the uh, download. Process. Pepper skimming. Pepper skimming at here. This one. Can I get a response from the attendees that asked the question? What does it mean by the component at here? Sufi or Kis, are you there? Uh, Sufi, what does it mean by a component here? Component in the abstract. Component. If an uh, objective is, is too long or anything. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, okay, uh, Sufi, for the question. Uh, usually, the abstract should provide very brief, okay, very brief uh, contents that could represent the entire, uh, the entire content. Uh, so, abstract is basically the summarization. So if let's say the component, one of the component is too long, then you might need to shorten them. Right? Uh, so usually the abstract is about uh not more than half. Okay, not more than half of uh, a page of the Microsoft Word though. Maybe one third, uh, one third of the page. Right? Uh, so please uh, make sure. Uh, please try to retain all the five components. Make sure you have all the five components. Okay, but each component just provide a very brief elaboration okay, uh, on each of the components. 
but uh, sometimes okay ada juga yang present the abstract okay in the form of uh, point form uh, in which that one is very guided lah it is not in paragraph form okay it is on uh, introduction uh, so the author divide okay the components already uh, according to point uh, so that one is very easier very straightforward so no need to to identify okay uh, which part uh, reflecting which part okay all right so guys can you please respond did you manage to download the mendeley because we are going to proceed to our main uh, our main objective okay writing the scientific report just now is okay is the technique okay after you have applied all the technique okay then uh, you are ready okay to write down okay or to write your own scientific report okay, or scientific paper. So anyone managed to download the Mendeley? Can you please respond? You guys have reached which stage? Hmm. Anyone manage to download the Mendeley? Then, madam. Okay, then. Alhamdulillah. Okay, thank you very much, Safiza. Okay, so now, okay, after you have completed uh installing your the Mendeley desktop, now, okay, you can open the Mendeley desktop, okay, and go to Tools. Okay, open. The Mendeley desktop. So by right, you have after complete installation, okay, you have one icon appeared on your desktop, and click uh, Mendeley icon, and you'll be directed to this page. Okay, and now go to Tools and then install Microsoft Word plugin, because this step is very crucial to link the Mendeley to the Microsoft Word, uh, so that the Microsoft Word can read the citation that you are going to use in your write up uh, in your document. So install Microsoft Word plugin. Now you are ready. Okay, you are ready okay, to write your scientific report. Uh, starting from uh, searching the reliable resources and then how to read okay, the resources uh, quickly okay, without uh, losing any of the important information. Okay, and then uh, there's another one more tips for you okay how do you want to elaborate okay on the contents or how you want to uh, rephrase or paraphrase okay on the contents from the article or resources that you refer okay so that you can present your content uh, okay, but before that can i have uh, feedback for those who have uh, downloaded the mendeley desktop and next is for you to install the microsoft word plugin and after you have installed the Microsoft Word plugin, then you will find out okay, at the Microsoft Word, okay, one of the bar or one of the mode right here under references, you have the Mendeley plugin, uh, insert citation at right here. So did you have? The plugin in your words. So by, by, by using the citation manager, uh, it is not only uh, for you to uh, manage your citation, but you can change the style of the citation according to the 
uh, needs okay, of your assignment. Uh, if let's say uh, your assignment require you to work with APA, uh, APA style, uh, then you can choose the APA. But if let's say the assignment require you to work with the Chicago style, uh, then you can simply click here. Then the reference uh, or the bibliography will be changing accordingly. Uh, so that is the... Uh, advantage okay, of using the cita uh, the citation manager okay, tools uh, because everything uh, can be completed within one click. Uh, no need to uh, use manual okay, manual presentation uh, or else nanti you opening uh, nanti you akan demotivated uh, lala sekali hmm, tak apalah tak payah tulis. So that's why we have to work smart. Yeah? Okay, so anyone? Manage to install the plugin. Yes, madam. Okay, done. Eh? Uh, okay. Okay. So now, okay. Thank you for the response. Okay. So uh, after you have installed the plugin, okay. Now, okay. Uh, you are ready. Okay, to cite okay any of the uh, articles okay from the database okay into your document uh, into uh, your words. Okay. So let's see. If we have the so this is the step by step, okay. This is step by step okay, in which you can find uh, the sources in the Google Scholar, and then there is one uh symbol key okay, quotation at here. Uh, this one is for you to cite. So let's say uh, you want to cite this paper, okay, stem cells, past, present, and future. Okay, then you can simply click cite here, and then you'll be directed to this page. Uh, so you have APA style, you have Chicago style. Uh, so this one. Uh, this page okay, is if you want to do it manually. Uh, therefore, you can simply uh, copy and paste. Uh, just copy and paste which style that you prefer. Let's say if you want to work with APA, then you can simply copy entirely and then paste in your document. Uh, but if you have the Mendeley, please uh, do not work manually. So you can simply click Reference Manager here. So click Reference Manager. Then this citation will be directed to the Mendeley desktop. Uh, to the Mendeley desktop, like this. Uh, then you have the citation deposited at here. Okay, and then uh, what you can do, okay, go to, uh, after that, go to your document, okay, your words, okay, and then insert citation. Uh, so this step, okay, this step, okay, is for you to deposit the citation into the Mendeley desktop. Okay, so now, okay, you want to retrieve the citation uh, and you want to include in your, in your uh, Microsoft Word. In your document. So go to your document, okay, and then uh find references, okay, find references and then insert citation. So when you click insert citation, there will be a pop-up box uh appear like this. So what you can do is click go to Mendeley. Uh, so now you will be directed to the Mendeley page just now with the citation that you want to cite, that you want to use in your document. Uh, and then Choose this citation and then click cite uh, because you want to cite this uh, work uh, in your uh, write-up. Uh, so when you click uh, quotation symbol at here, uh, then you can see uh, now the authors or the citation will appear like this. And this is called the uh, in-text citation. Uh, so this is in-text citation that correspond to the statement here uh, in which Okay, you are referring to this statement from uh, Zach Zwerski uh, and friends at all here. Uh, so that's why you write the statements okay, which you refer to their articles and then you have to cite them. Uh, so this is called in-text citation uh, or in-text, sorry, in-text citation. Uh, and then if you want to add on full bibliography, which uh, will appear at the end of the uh, documents uh, under the bibliography or references, then you can simply click insert bibliography. Uh, so when you insert bibliography, then there will be a long list of references uh, that you have referred uh, in order to produce the content of your write-up, uh, of your document or article. Okay, so that is how you uh work with the Mendeley or citation index okay so so far guys are you okay so we have discussed on four techniques 
the development of the framework okay, of scientific report, uh, all the contents in which I have a one uh, abbreviation introduced to you, the IOM Red. Hopefully, you still remember. Okay, and then uh, we have the reliable sources, how you want to find the resources okay, or the references or the articles that you want to refer to. Okay, and then uh, we have discussed okay, on uh, how to read okay, the resources or the articles very quickly. Okay, and uh, just now on how to manage the resources uh, via Mendeley. Okay, so now you are going to apply all the four techniques that I have shared with you to write your assignment uh, based on the a framework that you have set up earlier uh, in your document. Uh, but when you want to write uh, your assignment uh, or if when you want to elaborate further the content of your assignments, okay, sometimes you tend to lose the words. Uh, sometimes you uh, do not know okay, how to start the first uh, sentences uh, or the first word of the sentences. Uh, so, bila tak tahu nak start macam mana ni, uh, tu yang jadi uh, tak dapat momentum okay, to continue, okay, to write or to complete uh, the assignment. Okay, so that's why uh, I would like to suggest with you okay, uh, this uh, one a platform that is called Manchester Academic Frisbank. Uh, guys, this uh, software, uh, software ke? so this uh, uh, web page uh, so this is actually a web page is very helpful uh, in which i managed to complete my uh, phd thesis within 3 months only uh, assisted by this academic freeze bank uh, so that's why i would suggest okay, uh, to all of you okay, to use or to refer to this academic freeze bank uh, for you to write your assignment okay because Okay, uh, the, the link has been shared with you in the chat box. So you can explore. Okay, uh, let's explore together. Uh, so www.frisbankmanchester.ac.uk Okay, so this one. Uh, so we have the academic Freeze Bank. So guys, okay, there's a lot of suggestion that you can choose uh, to elaborate on specific section. Uh, for example, if you want to develop your introduction, you can refer here, introducing work. Okay, and then, so scroll down, you see, you have suggestion, how to establish the importance of topic for the world or society. You just choose, you just need to choose which statements matches the best uh, with the one that you want to write. Uh, for example, if you want to uh, study on um, gamification, uh, can, then you can choose, you can just simply replace X here, uh, X here, okay, with the uh, main topic uh, or main uh, discussion that you want to highlight. Um, for example, uh, gamification uh, is a key strategy Okay, for the enhancement okay, of teaching and learning pedagogical uh, in order to give uh, students a more enjoyable okay, and interactive uh, learning experience. Uh, for example, you see, when we know uh, what to start, okay, then automatically uh, the following statements okay, uh, will follow through. Because based on my experience, my difficulty is at the starting part though. Uh, how? Am I going to start the elaboration? Uh, Biasanya bila dah dapat start tu, yang belakang-belakang tu, uh, bolehlah kita goreng-goreng. Bolehlah kita elaborate further according to our uh, reading. So our reading uh, previously also uh, help. Okay, uh, very uh, helpful okay, in order for us to come up okay, with the elaboration. Eh? Uh, and of course, assisted by this lah. Okay, uh, academic first bank. Uh, so you can choose which one. Okay, uh, you want to refer. This one is if you want to establish uh, on the importance of the topic based on time frame given. Uh, let's say if you study for certain trend, uh, then you can refer to this one. Okay, and you have a lot of suggestion. Okay, uh, what to start with. Okay, and then you can add on lah with your own elaboration according to your 
topic uh, specifically. Uh, you can explore. You can explore, guys. Okay, we have uh, all sections right here. We have the introduction. Uh, introducing work will help you to develop your introduction. Okay, and the referring sources. Referring to sources. Uh, usually referring to sources, uh, most students prefer to use uh, according to, uh, based on. Uh, it is not students. Sometimes the lecturer also use the same, similar uh, wording. Kan? Uh, common or cliche statement. Uh, according to uh, Iman et al., uh, the results of uh, blah 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 kan? or based on study conducted by uh, Smith at all uh, so it is quite dry isn't it so if let's say you use this academic first bank uh, then uh, you can search okay you can search uh, you can use any of the uh, suggestion uh, for example uh, on the uh, relevant literature uh, here again so you have uh, much of the current literature on X pays particular attention to. Okay. Hmm. So the, 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 the statement or the uh, terms used okay, is very professional. Uh, so this is the, I would say, the uh, tips okay, and tricks okay, for you uh, to use the resources okay, that you have earlier. Uh, so based on your reading, okay, in the previous article, okay, you just need to rephrase their statement, and you have to amend or rephrase their statement according to the suggestion at here. But your task is to choose which one match the best, okay, with the statement that you want to imitate, uh, that you want to rephrase just now, so that okay, when you use any of the uh. Uh, statements are here. Okay, then uh, you can say that uh, the statements that you have written is yours. Uh, even though you are referring to their work, even though you are using uh, their statement, okay, but upon okay, uh, rephrasing or paraphrasing okay, the statements uh, by using this method, then uh, I will say uh, it is your words. Uh, it is your uh, elaboration uh, in which if you uh, test, okay, if you run the plagiarism uh, detection, uh, then uh, inshallah, okay, plagiarism uh, detector tu akan uh, tak boleh baca lah. Uh, sebab itu kira ayat you all. Uh, you all develop sendiri uh, based on this idea. Eh? Okay, so we have describing method, we have reporting results, uh, discussing findings, and writing conclusions. Uh, so everything's okay, are presented uh, here. So your task is to choose and pick which one is the most suitable okay, with your uh, needs. Okay, so now okay, let's uh, go back okay, to here. Okay, so this is academic phrase bank. It's one of the tool okay, for you to write your assignment. Okay. Let's see. Also, I, I, I did provide here actually. Uh, let's say the abstract, the, the references that you refer is about STEM. Okay, so STEM is an integrated teaching and learning approach in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, let's say, okay, we want to rephrase or we want to present or we want to study about STEM. So according to the previous uh, article that has been published, uh, so this is how the author explain on what is STEM. Okay, so if let's say we want to rephrase this author statement, then we just simply go to the academic phrase bank and choose okay, any of the suggestion here. Uh, let's say we choose this one. X is an important component in the climate system and plays a key role in Y. Let's say, okay, but we have to amend uh, accordingly, of course, it is not for us to consider thoroughly okay, or the entire uh, statement here. So we can amend okay, in which X, now referring to STEM, okay, is important component uh, in education system uh, that involves science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, still, still uh, maintaining uh, the statement presented by the author. All right, it's just that we amend uh, the the uh, first statement set here. 
Or alternatively, you can also work like this. You can choose this one. X is essential for a wide range of technologies. Uh, then we amend this statement and we blend in okay, with the author's statement until we can come up with STEM is essential for a wide range of teaching and learning technology that has been established since secondary level of education sector. Uh, so this one may be uh, mentioned at here, quite, uh, pre-university. Pre-university means secondary level. Uh, so this one is uh, another way okay, to uh, rephrase okay, or paraphrase the statement in which it is not only based on the first statements here, then we can also manipulate the statements according to the uh, next uh, elaboration. Uh, okay. So when, when, when we check the plagiarism, uh, the plagiarism okay, uh, cannot detect or uh, cannot detect the uh, plagiarism lah, kan? Uh, maksudnya, this is the original. Original statements okay, produced by you guys. Okay. All right. So, I think I have come to the end of uh, my sharing session. Hmm. So then I pass the session to uh, the MC. Thank you, Madam, for the insightful sharing from our beloved speaker. I hope that we can apply this knowledge in terms of writing a better scientific report or help us in our assignment in the future. Now, we will have a question and answer session. So any one of you would like to have any question, you may open your mic or write it at the comment section below to ask any question regarding our speakers sharing just now. So, madam, there are questions from Akil Shamil on how to install plugin. Oh, okay. How to install plugin. Okay, you go to Mendeley Desktop. Have you downloaded the Mendeley Desktop? Okay, or if I can, if I can use uh, the original version of Mendeley of mine. Okay, so Mendeley. Mendeley Desktop. So after you have installed okay, the Mendeley Desktop, this is how okay, it looks like. Right? Uh, so this is the Mendeley Desktop looks like. Okay, and then you go to Tools. You go to Tools at here, but make sure all the Microsoft Words okay, are closed. Okay, or else the installation uh, is not successful. Okay, so click tools and then find install MS Word plugin. So after you have installed okay, the MS Word plugin, then there will, there will be a box, okay, another pop-up box, okay, uh, stating that your installation is successful. And then if uh, you need to check okay, that your words has the plugin. Okay, now go or open your Microsoft Word. Okay, open your Microsoft Word. Uh, okay, let's see bank document. Okay, and then go to references. Uh, then the function insert citation should be there. That indicates uh, the process is successfully. Okay, so you can, let's say you want to insert, you want to insert your citation, then you just click, you just click, okay, sorry, okay, you just click uh, insert citation, okay, and then go to Mendeley. So now, uh, we want to uh, refer to the Mendeley desktop, okay, in order to cite uh, any citation that we want to have. Uh, so then, it will, it will direct us to this list of references lah. Okay, yeah. so this is the list of references that you have deposited from the database, from the Google Scholar, okay, or from the Science Direct, 
okay where you click the symbol quotation tu yang site okay site c i t e and then uh, when you click site okay from the google scholar for example uh, and then you choose reference manager or uh, uh, shorten to refman and you'll be directed to this. It means that the citation has been deposited into this Mendera desktop. Uh, for example, this one just now. Okay, and then you just click the article, the title of the article or the authors. Okay, then go to quotation symbol again because now you want to cite this uh, paper uh, because the content that you have developed in your Microsoft Word is based on this paper. So now you click site. Then here you go. Uh, so this is the impact citation that you have included uh, by using the Mendeley desktop uh, as the citation manager. And then if you want to add on the uh, list, okay, or let's say, let's let's insert for more lah. Let's insert for more citations so that you can see more clearly. Okay, and then this one is about religion and education in Northern Ireland, for example. Okay, and then we cite. Uh, so now we have a list. Okay, we have a list of uh, references that we have referred, okay, in order to uh, develop, okay, our scientific report content. Okay, uh, so this is the in-text citation. So now we want to insert the full References kan. And then you go to insert bibliography. Then here uh, you have them. Uh, so this one, why it appears twice? This one is 2019. Uh, so you can delete lah. Okay, bonus. One, two, three. Sorry for it. So I didn't tekan vokali kat tadi. So click sekali je lah. So this one eh. Banyak ni pun padam lah. Okay, padam. Uh, so, this one. So, this is the intact citation. And this is the full uh, citation that represents the bibliography. Uh, so, this is based on APA's time. This is based on APA, American Psychological Association, 7th edition. Uh, usually for sciences, okay, we work with APA. Uh, what... Uh, According to the uh, sources that I know, okay, that sciences or based on my experience, sorry, based on my experience, okay, we work with uh, APA uh, seven edition. So you can click APA seven edition, and this is how the APA uh, present the bibliography, the references. Uh, if let's say uh, you used to work with the Chicago, Chicago, then you choose Chicago Manual of Style seventeen, uh, then just click. Then uh, the bibliography will be changing accordingly. Uh, so no need to amend manually uh, because this one is very technical part. Do not waste your time. Uh, because if, if you can see here for the Chicago, you have to alert with the italic uh, because some part of the references require you to use italic uh, like this. Again, uh, so please do not waste your time. Please use the uh, citation manager uh, to shorten your time. Yeah, because uh, basically uh, writing uh, a scientific report uh, is not so complicated if we have the skills, if we know okay, how uh, to manage uh, or how to tackle okay, uh, the tips and tricks uh, that I uh, have shared with you just now. Okay. So... Brothers, tanya tadi dah. So, brothers, oh. you manage to install the plugin? Plugin should appear like this, eh? Okay. Let's say, insyaAllah, madam. Alright. <laughs> okay, madam, on to the next question. Uh... Madam, what are the common mistakes that lecturers find at students' scientific report and how to overcome them? Okay, what are the common mistakes okay, uh, that the students uh, find out from this uh, submission? So, I would say the first one is the plagiarism. Uh, so, the plagiarism percent. Okay, uh, so, if you are referring to the lab report, 
Okay, if you are referring to the net report, the one that you have to uh, submit uh, with your hand writing, Okay, that one, uh, of course, we are not using uh, or we don't use uh, any plagiarism software to detect your plagiarism. But uh, with a glance, okay, uh, sekali pandang je, tengok your submission tu, uh, madam-madam ni, uh, dah tahu dah, okay, whether you uh, plagiarize your friends, okay, ataupun the lab manual, uh, ataupun mana-mana uh, lah, sources yang memang uh, famous. Uh, so that's why guys, my advice to you, if you want to copy and paste, please make it wisely and smartly, of course. Okay, you can refer to your friend's report, you can refer to the lab manual, you can refer to any uh, existing documents that you used to refer to. Okay, but please rephrase them. Uh, we have the academic phrase bank. Uh, then your task is to rephrase or paraphrase according to your understanding. Okay, so that is number one, the plagiarism. So brothers and sisters, okay, please do not plagiarize others' work. Uh, in terms of uh, madam madam ni, boleh detect eh? uh, handwriting ke? Uh, kalau handwriting pun boleh detect, apatah lagi yang typewriting. Uh, so typewriting, okay, we can detect the percent of plagiarism okay, using software. And uh, very recent, uh, advancement, uh, students prefer to work with the chat GPT uh, to help them to rephrase. Madam, okay, I did rephrase the contents from the uh, from other resources uh, using chat GPT. So guys, uh, for your information, uh, we do have software that can detect the plagiarism that you copy and paste from direct resources. And also, if you copy and paste, and then you ask ChatGPT to rephrase for you. Uh, that one we call it as AI detector. Uh, so, be careful at here. Uh, so, if you want to ask ChatGPT to rephrase your work, and again, make it smartly. Uh, we, we we can have uh, several techniques there okay, in order uh, to ask ChatGPT okay, in which we can maintain the originality. Oh, sorry, we can maintain the uh, meaning Okay, or the main components, okay, but uh, in a more humanized ways uh, so that uh, it cannot be detected okay, by the uh, plagiarism software. Okay, so second, uh, so tadi yang plagiarism, second is on the formatting. Uh, so when you want to uh, provide or when you want to write scientific report, so everything should be well presented. It is not in terms of contents only, but the technical part okay, should be focused as well. Uh, you should prioritize the technical part as well. Okay, in which the formatting, uh, the formatting in terms of uh, spacing, the alignment, the justification. Uh, for example, this one, kan? Uh, tak ke sakit mata ni kan macam ni? Uh, so what if okay, we control all and then we go to home. And then we choose this one, justify uh, the margins. Uh, the margins should be justified. Huh, this one. Okay. This one is much better. So everything should be justified. Uh, all the paragraphs should be in line. Okay, left and right. So I would say the second one is on the formatting. So many uh, students uh, did not. Uh, follow this one. This one is more on the technical part. Okay. Uh, and then what else? Lecturer find out. Uh, the references lah. Uh, third is the references. Okay. Uh, in which uh, how the students present the references is insufficient uh, and sometimes it's not according to the APA style or the uh, style okay, that the uh, submission required. Uh, so this is the three lah. Uh, so my advice is you guys to equip yourself with knowledge. Okay, you have to know. Okay, to tackle for every single component that you want to present in your scientific report. Uh, so refer to the uh, main content. Discussion number one too. Uh, what are the main contents? Uh, so make sure everything uh, is developed uh, properly. Okay, and everything uh, should be uh, cited. Okay, if you are referring to other sources or other works, uh, you have to acknowledge them. Uh, so after you have built uh, a series of 
uh, a number of references or citations, then you have to manage the citation lah, at the end of the uh, report. Mm. So I would say these three. Lah. Okay, other question? This question from Sister Farzana Nazri. Madam, can we copy the word sebiji sebiji untuk citation through ebook or online article? Then baru elaborate the point. Can we ta elaborate the point? Okay, thank you very much. Very good questions. Uh, can we copy word by word and then we cite? Uh, because we acknowledge, Madam, all the we want to maintain the originality from the original sources. Okay. So based on the uh, uh what we call that uh etiquettes lah uh in citing others' work okay even though we want to cite their works but we still have to put effort we still have to rephrase their contents because if you put uh words by words exactly then the the plagiarism software can detect hundred percent plagiarism uh, if I'm not mistaken uh, the plagiarism software can detect if you maintain seven words from the original sources. Uh, for example, dalam banyak-banyak elaboration tu, okay, maksudnya you maintain seven words okay, dalam uh, statement tu, then uh, the plagiarism software can detect. Uh, and, can, and then they akan kira you plagiarate. Uh, tiru lah kira-kira. Uh, so, to answer your question, it is not allowed okay, uh, for you to copy words by words. So that's why you have to uh, rephrase, okay, but you have to maintain uh, the uh, definition okay, or the main context okay, of uh, their words. Can we accept like more, two more questions and then we end it? Hmm. Okay, for the first one, Madam, how to choose a good topic to do scientific research on? Uh, how to choose suitable topic for? Scientific research. Scientific research. So research is very broad field. So what kind of research you want to work on? Uh, so first of all, you have to set your goal. Uh, what kind of research? you want to work on uh, but usually uh, when 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 you want to do research okay, of course you have to have advisor uh, so always communicate with your advisor okay and then set uh, a goal okay or the direction okay on uh, what field of study you want to investigate for day uh, because usually at uh, cfs level okay uh, the scientific report okay is useful to do the assignment and usually the assignment uh, title has been uh, given to you okay, by the lecturers. Uh, so, based on the title, uh, then you can start to do uh, the searching lah, okay, from the reliable database. Uh, so, to answer your question, research too, you have to have a direction. Uh, so, it depends now what kind of study you want to work on. Uh, sciences okay, or social science. Uh, and then, uh, what kind of research uh, methodology that you want to have? Uh, is it you want to do uh, qualitative okay, or quantitative? Uh, so, there's a lot okay, to elaborate. Uh, so, how to find the best or suitable title? So, it depends on the direction of your project. That should be guided okay, uh, by the uh, advisor or supervisor or your lecturer. Okay, Madam, for the last question. Madam, should we rephrase scholar's quote too? Should we rephrase? Scholar's quote. Uh, scholar's quote? Scholar's quote. Mm, scholar's quote. Mm. Quotes. Uh, for quotes, basically, uh, uh, they can be uh, uh, presented Okay, as it is, but you have to put uh, open and close quotation symbol, right? Uh, that one is allowed lah. 
Uh, that one is allowed. Okay, uh, if you want to present quotes okay, from uh, scholars, uh, so that one, uh, of course lah, tak boleh lah tukar itu kan. So, itu memang kata-kata hikmah uh, orang tu. Uh, so, that one can be presented as it is. Okay, but then you have to put open and close quotation symbol though. Uh, and then ended with their names lah uh, in text citation. Uh, the one that I share with you just now, if you want to use uh, their contents okay, from previous work okay, and to be used as part of your content. Uh, maybe you want to support your findings. Uh, let's say when, when uh, you want to discuss your results okay, and then uh, happens to be uh, researcher A and researcher B also uh, get the same findings as yours. Uh, so that one require you to cite them okay, so that you can support your findings. Uh, so what's sama. Oh, saya dapat sama dengan researcher A dengan researcher B. Uh, so, we are going to uh, use their works, okay, their content, but we have to uh, rephrase a little bit uh, so that okay, uh, it, uh, both works can match okay, with your work uh, without 100% uh, copy and paste okay, their uh, statements. Okay, thank you, Dr. Nur Saadia, for the answer regarding questions asked by our attendees. Okay. Alhamdulillah, that signifies the end of our event. On behalf of the organizing committee, we would like to take this opportunity to convey our deepest appreciation and gratitude to our honorable principal and respected fellows progressing our scientific report writing guidance tonight. We would also like to thank all parties involved for making this event a success and we apologize for any shortcomings along the way. Jazakumullahu khairan kathira. Not to forget, all brothers and sisters, please, please fill in the attendance through the link that is provided on the chat session. But before that, we hope for your cooperation to open your camera for the photography session. Uh, Aisha, sorry, before uh, 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 before we allow the participants to leave the session, uh, I would like to ask okay, their feedback. Uh, so that I can have one cloud uh, mm. to represent this uh, session. Sure, madam. For uh, attendees, you can put your feedback on the meeting chat. Uh, this one, this one. Uh, I'm mm. using Slido. Okay, so this one, uh, to the remaining participants who still uh, stay okay, until the end of the session, so I would like to ask cooperation from you guys okay, to scan the QR code and can you please give one word best describes your overall experience from this session so that I can build a so-called one cloud. Okay, one word je. Nanti kalau banyak words nanti dia tak jadi words cloud nanti. Okay, thank you to those who have respond. <laughs> uh, Madam cakap one word, dia gabungkan tiga word. Dua word eh. Okay. Civilized tu maksudnya madani ke apa? Alhamdulillah, thank you very much guys. So the most uh, occurring words that the respondents has typed is informative. So I do hope uh, with this uh, sharing session, okay, it can help you, uh, it can assist you okay, to come up with a complete uh, scientific uh, report writing and it can help you to uh, excel okay, in your assignment and also your lab report uh, submission, inshallah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, madam, for the photography session. Uh, before that, can madam? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay.
Uh, okay, everyone, smile. I will screenshot. Okay? Okay. Wait, sini, sini, sini. Okay, oh, uh, participant can open the camera. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, again. Okay, one more, one more. Freestyle, freestyle. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, thank you. Done for photography sessions. Okay, with that, we end our scientific report writing guidance with Tasbih Kafarah and Suratul As. Abilah Taufiq Wahidaya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Sadia. Thank you, Madam. All right. Thank, Thank, you, Madam. You, Madam. Thank you, Madam. Good one. Good job, Aisha. Good job, Aisha.